Okay, so you're infected with this browser hijacker called websearches.com. Basically, your browser keeps getting redirected to this iStart webs, websearches.com. Uh, again, it's a browser hijacker. It's easy to get rid of. A lot of you have trouble um, removing it because you're looking in the wrong places, okay? Now, the thing is, uh, some of you, I'm going to show you how to do it in Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Mozilla Firefox, okay? And we're going to start off with Google Chrome. First thing you guys got to do is you got to go into your control panel because most likely it's a program that is installed on your computer. Okay. Now the thing is, I'm going to say about 50% of you of you will have something in here that's related, uh, depending on how it was installed on your computer. Basically, meaning where you downloaded this uh, iSearch or um, i iStartWebSearches.com. Some of you got it from a free program from CNET. Depending on what program, it can install as uh, in different names. Anyways, first thing you want to do is look in the control panel and add remove programs. And the thing is, it's not always, um, it, it's not going to be I searches or web searches. What you're going to have to do is look for something else with the words start, web, webs, search, searches. It, some, some people had it in here called start search, or it could be under like search can do it. So basically, you go into your, your add remove programs and you go up here into the search and you type in, I don't know, type in that word search and everything you see here in the word search. If you're not familiar with it, get rid of it. Another th another clue would be the date that it was installed on. If it was installed on a particular a date where you suspect it was around the time where you got this browser hijacker, uninstall that thing. You, you can uninstall anything you want. You can always reinstall it later if you if if if, if that wasn't the issue. Anyways, about I'm gonna say about 50% of you will have the actual program installed in here. That's why when you go into your browser settings and you do everything correctly, it still comes back. Okay, so once you do this, and like I said, some of you will have it in here, some of you won't. This is the first step. What we'll do is start off with Google Chrome. Open up Google Chrome, and top right-hand corner, you want to click on this three-bar prong, or it could be a wrench depending on your version of Google Chrome. We want to go down to settings. From here, first page, on startup. Look right here, set pages. Click on that. Make sure that I search, I start web search is not in here. If it is... Click on the X. Next spot, right below it, it says Appearance. Look right here, Show Home button. Click on this Change right here. And again, same thing here, make sure that I Start Web Search is not on here. If it is, click the X. Next place is Appearance. Oops, sorry. Next place is Search. Under Search, it says Manage Search Engines. Click on this. Now, you're going to have uh, two areas here, okay? Now, make sure I search or I start web searches is not in here anywhere. And plus, any, any of this other junk that you're not familiar with, you just exit out. Okay. And the last and final step is scroll all the way down to the same page. And then what it says right here, it says show advanced settings. Click on this. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and it says reset browser settings. Now click on this. And then you click on reset. Now remember, when you guys reset a any browser, you're going to lose all your favorites, your bookmarks, all your cookies are going to be deleted. Everything is going to be long gone. So take note to that. Okay, now let's move on to Internet Explorer. Okay, we have Internet Explorer here. And don't forget the first thing you had to do was go into the control panel, add remove programs. <clears throat> Make sure you delete, delete that there. If it's not in there, don't worry about it. Like I said earlier, about 50% of you will have it in there. All the others will not be installed on there. You just have to basically go in the right places in your uh, browser settings. Internet Explorer here is open. Top right hand side, click on the little wrench. Go down to manage add-ons. From here, under tools and extensions, make sure that I start uh, web searches is not in here. If it is, you select it and you disable it. Next part, search providers. Make sure it's not in here. If it isn't here, you want to um, highlight it and disable it. Okay, next spot. Same thing again. Top right hand corner and a little wrench. This time we want to go down to internet options. From here, obviously, I mean, you don't want your homepage set onto iSearch Web Searches, iStartWebSearches.com. If it is, get rid of it. Put something in there you want, like, I don't know, Google.com. Next step, on the same window here, you want to click on Advanced. Advanced, look down here. See where it says Reset? You want to click on Reset. Basically, you want to reset your browser 
And remember, if you reset a browser, uh, any browser, you're going to lose everything. You know, all of your, all of your favorites, your bookmarks, your, your cookies are going to be deleted. It's basically going to be like a fresh install. So reset it and then close and reopen Internet Explorer and you should be good to go. Now let's move on to fi uh, Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so we have Mozilla Firefox on here. Now what you want to do is first thing is top left hand corner. You want to click on that little orange Firefox sign. Then you want to go into add-ons. <clears throat> Okay, so from here, under extensions, make sure that iStart's not in, in here. If it is, get rid of it. Next spot, go into plugins. Look under here. Now, some of you may have it in some of these places. Others won't. If it's in here, you want to go ahead and you want to deactivate it or never activate. Next thing, again, top left-hand corner, you want to click on that orange little Firefox uh sign there then you want to go to options options again <clears throat> and from here obviously make sure your home page is not set on i start web search just put it on google.com or yahoo.com or msn.com and then we want to close it now next step is we want to make sure we have a browser window open like such as this and if you look on the search bar here which says Google you click on the little down arrow click on that and we want to go down to manage search engines a lot of you will have it in here as well if it's in here I search you highlight it and you click on remove now let's move to the last and final step again top left hand corner click this time we want to go to help and now we want to go to troubleshooting information on this page top right hand side Look at this, Reset Firefox. You want to click it, you want to reset it. Don't forget, if you reset it, you're going to lose all your favorites, your history, your cookies are going to be deleted. Uh, all, everything's going to be gone. Once you reset it, close and reopen, and you should be good to go. Now, all these steps are basically going to take care of like 95% of you. The others, you're going to probably have to go into the registry. And if you have any questions, comment at the bottom, and I will help you guys as much as I can. Bye.